good morning children good morning makra so today we are going to continue our le lesson that is the trickster okay in this lesson the trickster the person who doesn't know to read and write he opened the school and he took so many admissions in his school many people took the admission for their children and all the children were learning very nicely and then parents were also very happy with their children's learning how he used to teach the children to read and write he used to give some papers to the children they have to read and write so do the sums calculate the numbers and write somewhere then some children became good in reading some became good in writing and then parents were also very happy and the, every time the trickster the man used to sit on a chair near the gate with a cigar in his mouth when he see used to see any someone coming near the school he used to get inside the class and shout at the children when children were making so much of noise otherwise his duty was he was sitting on the chair near the gate with his cigar one day what happens a lady comes with him comes to him with a note in her hand a lady comes with a note in her hand and she asks him to read and tell him what is written in that he was he tries he thinks that she may ask him to read he understood that she may come to him and she may ask what is written in this paper and he tries to run away from there but by the time she reaches to him then the woman when she reaches to him she asks the woman could hardly bear she asks him i am sure the its letter she want me to read he thought and he tried to slip out from sight but uh, alas it was too late but it was too late and she reaches to him for there she was in right in front of him by the time she was right in front of him my husband sent this sent me this letter read it to me please she asked him handing the sheet over then she gives a paper or letter to him and she says my husband have sent me this letter please read this for me there was no way out he turned the paper to left to right upside down back to front his brow creased in a frown his face serious muttering under his breath then after taking the paper he turns it right left up down back front and he raises his eyebrow and his face becomes so angry his face becomes so angry and then means serious and then he starts muttering in his mouth like that the woman could hardly bear bear him to speak my husband isn't ill not worse news i hope surely he isn't dying or dead she whispered close to tears then looking at him she becomes very nervous and she becomes angry then she says what is written in that whether my husband is sick my husband is ill my husband is dead or my husband is going to die what happened to him she was she was try, literally crying at that time then the man eyed her gravely nodded his head raised his index finger and sighed deeply should i then tear my robe and beat up beat my bro cried the woman then what that man did he gravely nodded his head like this he nodded his head raised his index finger sighed deeply in index finger he showed and sighed deeply like this then she thought some maybe might be something wrong has happened with the husband so he is trying to say something then what happens she sits and cries she sits and cries the sorry faith faith demands it replies the school teacher giving her back the letter with that the he returned and entered the school he had he had held 
high his head held high then what he said he just said that faith demands means what is written here that is demanding faith demands whatever is written in your faith that is demanding he replied and gave it back to her and went back to the school in the class his head held high means he was like this the country woman fell to her knees crying aloud and beating her brow then country woman fell down she sat down on her knee avu kelagade biddu joragi alodak shuru martale what she does she fell falls down and beating her knees and she starts crying all the villagers rushed to her side to see what ailed her then all the villagers all the people from village came near to her she they came close to her to see what has happened to her alas my husband is dead that is what is written here she sobbed showing everyone the letter then when they ask her what has happened what is the reason why she is crying then she says my husband is dead and she shows the letter to everyone this is what written in this letter one of her neighbors suddenly appeared at her side and cried stop your tears for your husband is anything but dead any in fa- in fact he is healthy as you are i all his letter says is that he is sending you a new blanket in which he has wrapped present for you i help happened to be with him when he was writing then one of her hus- neighbor comes to her and then he says he cried stop your tears then he comes to comes close to her and he says stop your tears first don't cry your husband has not died he is not died he is written in this letter that he is sending a blanket for you where in which he is wrapped up present for you when he was writing this letter i was with him what is this and do and to think i grieved for nothing cried the furious woman turning on her heel she raced in a furry back to the school house she found that teacher in his usual place what is this and to think i grieved for nothing then she stood up she stood up and said what is this i thought something is wrong something wrong has happened to my husband and i was crying she grieved for that then she returned to the school and then she went near the teacher where he was sit, used as usually he used to sit then what happens then as she goes to him as she goes to him what lie you told me i have just found out that the letter states that my husband is sending me a blanket wrapped around wrapped around present she shouted waving the letter before his eyes then she goes to him and she says see in this letter i have found that my husband is sending me a gift which is wrapped in a blanket and you are lying me that he is died he is dying what is this why did you say the lie then what did the sir, teacher says the teacher however was not in the least put out far from admitting the truth he shouted back that is exactly what i told you but you went on about him dying or being dead and as blanket with a parcel in uh, in it resembles a shroud a shroud with a bo- body in it you confused me i o i shall never bother to read letters against two foolish such as you then the teacher didn't have any word to say but he managed to do uh, who had handled the situation then he says exactly what i was trying to say that he have sent you a gift which is wrapped in a blanket but you were not ready to listen to me you started crying you started crying that my husband might have died my husband might be dying and you didn't allow me to say any word you started crying and you ran away from here so i i kept quiet it is not my mistake so 
now i will promise that i will promise that i will swear that i am not going to read any letter foolish people like you see how this is how he managed to keep his mistake he managed to keep his mistake or uh, tries to fool her so a trickster means the person who have the brain can use it any way can use it any way it doesn't mean you people should follow this it means the uh, situation may may come in any manner situation may come in any manner sometimes it may be with you sometimes it may not be with us and when it is not with us it will be very very difficult to face the people and the situation so try to understand the importance of reading and writing and learning try not to fool the people okay children we meet in the next class